all been there. We see something new and shiny that we want. Whether it is something material, like a new iPhone or a new pair of shoes, or to get into a program, school, or job. We finally get whatever that thing is we had been wanting and are excited about it at first. But soon the excitement fades and we move on to the next thing. We have something good, but now there is something better. Or maybe it is just the idea of something better, but we can't help but wonder what else is out there or desire more. Even when people have a lot to begin with, they often feel that the grass is always greener on the other side. I am sure that you have all heard this saying, the grass is always greener on the other side before. People constantly want what they don't have, and although they get excited by new things, they move from one thing to the next very quickly. I am assuming that you have all felt this way before. But when people have a lot to begin with, why do they feel this way so often? The idea behind the grass is always greener syndrome is that there's always more out there that we are missing. So rather than experiencing stability, security, and satisfaction in one's present environment, people desire what else is out there and feel that anything less than ideal won't do. This view is usually based off of fantasies of idealized situations or fear that there's something out there that we are missing. In addition, People who feel this way often find that compromising can feel oppressive and keeping them from getting what they really desire. Also, people find that by polishing their external environment, they are able to soothe a deeper internal dissatisfaction. We feel that buying new material things will bring us happiness deep down. The truth is that human beings are all in some ways less than perfect, and therefore, the idea of shiny grass is an illusion. This view of people never being fully satisfied with what they have and constantly looking for ways to achieve happiness has been around for a very long time. French philosopher Jean-Jacques Rousseau discussed that human beings have two drives, amour de soi, self-love, which is in charge of our most basic biological needs, and amour propre, or love of self, or pride and vanity. He explains that a more probe makes a central claim of human beings needing validation by others. Therefore, we define our successes and failures based off of what others have instead of just in terms of our own personal happiness. Another French philosopher, Alexis de Tocqueville, also commented on this phenomenon. He explains how Americans in particular move from one thing to the next very quickly. He claims, they clutch everything but hold nothing fast, and so lose grip as they hurry after some new delight. This view plays out in many aspects of our lives today. For example, companies play into people's mindsets by using these ideas. They release new versions of products very frequently, with only slightly, slight differences from the, very, the previous model, and make you feel through advertising like you must have the latest thing. For example, let's take the iPhone. Apple releases a new model of the iPhone approximately every year, and although, as you can see, there have been improvements from the first model to the current model, between two consecutive models, the differences are minimal. Earlier this year, when the iPhone 6S came out, which Apple modeled at, advertised as the only thing that's changed is everything, the biggest difference that most people could notice or care about was that it came in a new color, pink. And is that really such an important change that we had to drop our old one to pick up a new one? Another way that the grass is always greener syndrome affects consumerism is through the idea of buyer's remorse, which is when people feel guilt or regret after an often extravagant purchase. The grass is always greener syndrome also affects people socially. Through social media in particular, many people experience the phenomenon of fear of missing out also known as FOMO. When we see pictures or videos of people having fun elsewhere, we feel that we should be doing the same thing. FOMO perpetuates the view that the way you're spending your time is wrong and that you should be doing something else, even if you were initially satisfied with what you were doing. When we see pictures or videos of others having fun, now we feel like we should be doing that too. Another example that actually refutes the grass is always greener syndrome is the lottery. We all feel that if we were to win the lottery and now had unlimited money, 
that we could buy whatever it is we want, that greener grass, and then we would be satisfied. However, researchers at Northwestern University and University of Massachusetts actually discovered that lottery winners are no happier than victims of catastrophic accidents who end up paralyzed. They discovered <laughs> that although buying more and gaining material things brings initial satisfaction, that fades very quickly. However, the grass is always greener syndrome isn't all bad. People can use this mindset of wanting more and to strive for happiness, not just in terms of material desire, but also in terms of ambition. If you feel you aren't working hard enough or aren't happy with the grade you receive, perhaps you can use this mindset to do better, to work harder, and achieve your goals in the future. In the end, I think it is important to be conscious of when we have this mindset, but to try and find internal stability and happiness for ourselves without comparing our personal happiness to other people. We need to find ways to feel good about ourselves, and this doesn't need to depend on what others have. Perhaps by finding things that we feel passionate about and pursuing those passions, we can find happiness for ourselves. In the end, people are happiest when they are living in the moment and satisfied with what they have. As Robert Fulgham, the author of All I Really Need to Know I Learned in Kindergarten said, the grass is not, in fact, always greener on the other side. The grass is greenest where it is watered. So carry water with you and tend the grass wherever you are. Thank you.